Shalom. <laughs> and welcome. On behalf of Bishop Stevenson and the Red Sea, this great body of believers called the Red Sea Baptist Church, God's House of Yay. Deliverance, we welcome you to our worship time. We're so glad that God sent you this way for us to come together to worship him in spirit and truth today. One, one church, no matter where we at. And so we welcome our online family today. Amen. Uh, and so glad to have you here with us. We come in here today to give God all the glory. And God, hey, he's here. Amen. He's here. Amen. He's Amen. here. And we're so glad about it. And we thank God. So go ahead on now and get your Bibles together. And 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 and, and, and let's get together with one spirit right now as we continue Amen. through our worship time. Amen. Did you want to say no, something, sir? Just hello. The Lord told me to stand with him, with us, so I'm standing with him. Hello. Hello, he says. Amen. God bless you, Bishop. Thank God for Bishop, huh? Amen. Amen. So uh, our, our, our worship leader, Minister John, is going to come and give us our last inspirational song. Immediately following that, we're all going to stand as we receive the man of God and sing our hymn of affirmation. I will trust the Lord as we pray our hearts and receive God's inspired word given by Bishop today. Will you pray with me as I uplift Bishop? Father, we thank you today, Father, for being faithful again, always, that you're faithful in all ways and all things. You've been found faithful, God. So we come right now upholding Bishop before you, thanking you, Lord, for who he is to us and who you call him to be and who you sent him to be in this body of believers, Father. We thank you for the anointing upon this life. We thank you, Lord, for his due diligence and, and, and laboring over this word today, God. So, Father, we just ask you right now in the name of Jesus that you will prop him up on whatever side he may be leaning, God. Don't let him look upon our faces and be dismayed or discouraged or distracted, but let him preach an uncompromising word to your people today. And while you're touching him, sir, please, please, please don't leave us out. Touch us and give us teachable spirits and receptive hearts. Let us sit up on the, end of, sit on the edge of our seats, Lord, to hear what thus say the Lord. Right now, Father, let us posture ourselves and yield ourselves right now to where we, this, will, this word will fall on good ground today to bring forth our harvest, Lord. Holy Spirit, this is our prayer that you will speak, and we will hear and obey. Holy Spirit, we want you to have your way, and it's in Jesus' holy and mighty name that we all do pray. And if you agree, just say amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> All my life I've been carried by grace. Don't ask me how, because I can't explain. It's nothing short of a miracle. I've got some blessings that I don't deserve. I've got some scars, but that's how you learn. It's nothing short of a miracle I'm here. Mm -hmm. I think it over and it doesn't matter. I know it comes from above. I've got miracles on miracles, a million little miracles. Miracles on miracles, count your miracles. One, two, three, four, I can't even count them all. No, I can't even count them. You held me steady so I wouldn't give up. You opened doors that nobody could shut. Mm -hmm. I pray I never get over what you've done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want I want to live like I know who you are. Yeah. I pray I never get over what you've done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The 
it's not coincidence and it's not luck. I know it comes from above. I've got miracles on miracles, a million little miracles. Miracles on miracles, count your miracles. One, two, three, four, I can't even count them all. Miracles on miracles. A million little miracles. Miracles on miracles. Count your miracles. One, two, three, four. I can't even count them all. I can't even, I can't even count them all. I can't even, I can't even count them all. I can't even, I can't even count them all. One, two, three, four. I can't even count them all. I can't even, I can't even count them all. I can't even, I can't even count them all. I can't even, I can't even count them all. One, two, three, four. I can't even count them all. I can't even, I can't even count them all. I can't even, I can't even count them all. I can't even, I can't even count them all. One, two, three, four, I can't even count them all. I can't even, I can't even count them all. I can't even.
grateful that you've yet given us another opportunity to assemble ourselves together in your house of worship to give you the honor and the glory that's due to you, a holy and a sovereign God. Thank you, Lord. Father, I'm so grateful that you've yet given me another opportunity to stand behind your sacred desk, to proclaim your uncompromising gospel to your people. Thank you, Father. So, Father, as I decrease, I pray that you would increase and that you would touch my mouth and give me preaching power from the throne room Help of us, glory. Lord. Now, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would touch the spiritual ears of your people, that they may hear a rainbow word from heaven. Yes, Lord, thank then, you. Then, oh God, I pray that you would touch the spiritual eyes of your people, that we will continue to see the hand of God move in this place today. Then, oh God, I pray that you would touch the hearts of your people, that we will all be receptive to whatever you're going to say in and through your Holy Spirit to us today. So, Holy Spirit, come on and have your way in this place. Heal us. Deliver us, set us free by your mighty power. This is our sincere prayer today. In Jesus', In Jesus mighty name, name. Pray. let us all say amen. 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 Soldiers in the army of the Lord, please say it all. This is my weapon. I am armed and dangerous. Look out, devil, the fight is amen. on. Amen. You're sounding good, man. See, you're sounding good. If you would, Matthew chapter 24, verse number 44, and I'll let you have your seats. Hallelujah. Matthew 24, verse 44, and I will let you have your seats. Hallelujah. Yes, ma'am, it is. Let me hear you say amen when you've made it to Matthew 24 and 44. Amen. 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 So our Bible declares in Matthew chapter 24, verse 44, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. That's right. Hallelujah. Mm. I'm sorry. Let me. You may have your seats. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and the hearers of his holy, holy word. Under the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit of Almighty God, I'd like to use for a title for us today, The Importance of Being Ready. Part two. Amen. The importance of being ready. Part two. Come on, Bishop, preach it. So the Holy Spirit has really been dealing with me about about talking to us about how important how important time is. Not that time is important to God, but timing is important to God. That's good. Time itself is not important to God, but timing mm -hmm. is important to God. Let me say that again. All right. Time is not important to God because God is not relegated by time. He's not caught up in time. He's outside of time. He's a producer of time. Mm -hmm. So time is not important to God, but timing mm -hmm. is. All right. Okay? Right. Time is not important, but the timing is important to God. And so in Matthew chapter 24, verse 36, here's what it says. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, know not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. This is right. Jesus talking. He said, the only person knows is my Father only. Say only. Only, only. only the Father. The importance, the importance. We're talking about the importance, the importance of being ready. And we dealt with the word importance uh, last time we were together. A quality or aspect having uh, having great worth or significance, the word importance means. But it also means this right here. It also means, importance also implies a value, judgment, or superior worth or influence of something or someone. I'm covering this for a reason. Every now and then we need a verily, verily. Right. Importance means the quality of being important. The quality of being important. The word importance. The word importance. The word is the importance. The quality of being significant. Value are necessary. Remember in a particular city, remember God asked us, talked to us about do I value uh -huh. do I value being ready he said we take ready too lightly yeah. and so God was saying that to us because he wants us to value 
and understand how necessary it is to be ready. Here's the thing we need to understand. God can't get any glory out of your life if you ain't ready. Amen. If you're not in the condition, position, and posture of readiness, God can't get any glory because you can't be blessed. Mm. If God is talking to me about being ready, that means I have to take up that condition, position, and posture in order to receive the things that God has prepared for me. But I'm not in a condition, position, or posture of receiving unless I'm in the condition, position, and posture of readiness. This is how I place myself in the position to receive from God. God is not telling me to be ready for nothing. He's got something he wants to deliver and present to me, and I have to be ready for that. Ready means I'm paying attention. That's right. It means I'm open to what God is saying. It means I'm giving God access and authority to present that to me. It means I value God. That's right. The being ready, the importance of being ready. So, so as we, as as I was dealing with this, this, and talking to God because because I had so much there to do this weekend, I, I didn't really, I, I I really wasn't concentrating on this because I was concentrating on the atmosphere and things going the way we needed for them to go for the graduation and and all those different things, and so my focus was there. Even though I had prayed, I was still praying. Right, right. You see what I mean? I was still right. praying. So, and so what, 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 what I was blessed by, uh, Mother, was this. How God began to speak to me this morning while I was getting dressed. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of brushing my teeth, he's downloading things to me. And so now I got to run around, Brother David, and get my Bible and get a pen and get some paper. <laughs> because I, I don't want to continue to brush my teeth, Brother John, because I'm going to forget what God is saying. So I got to stop brushing my teeth. I need you to understand the importance of being ready. All of this is saying because I need you to understand, see, here's what I had to be. I had to be ready when God downloaded regardless of what time it was. I had to be ready to receive from God. And here's how I showed God I was ready because I stopped doing what I was doing, ran out of that bathroom, went got my Bible, a pen and a piece of paper so God could download this thing to me this morning. And this is what we're going to have to do if we're going to take up the position of readiness. All right. God is looking at, okay, do you value my voice? Do you value the things that I have to say to you in the way you show me that is everything else cease and desist? When I begin to talk, you know, the, 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 the commercials say when E.F. Hutton speaks, everybody listens. Right, right. <laughs> But we ought to be listening when God speaks. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, everybody everybody don't know the voice of God, but those of us who know it, we need to pause for the cause. Say that with me. Right. Pause right. for the cause. That means you stop doing what you're doing. If you know it's God's voice, you cease and desist what you're doing because it can wait. Mm -hmm. You don't want to miss what God is saying. Right. So I stopped, Brother David. And when I stopped, here's what God began to say to me. He said, watch this. He said, last week when I talked to y'all last week, <laughs> man, I feel this so good right now. He said, we discovered that at time, watch this, a time when you think not is God, is the fullness of time for God. Mm -hmm. It's God's appointed time. Mm -hmm. Watch this. It's God's set time and God's due season. All right. He said, so last Sunday when I was talking to you, I, you discovered, I revealed to you what I meant when I was talking to you, watch this, y'all, because this is important. In, in verse number 44, we in Matthew 24, 44, listen right this, Brother John. Therefore, be ye also ready. But he says, watch this, for in such an hour mm -hmm. that you think not, in such an hour that you think not is God's fullness of time. This is God's, watch this, not is it only is this God's fullness of time, this is God's appointed time. This is God's due season. This is God's acceptable time. He said, you discovered that last week. I revealed that and showed that to you last week. Watch this, Father Burnett. Watch this, what he said. He said, a time, watch this, he said, a time that you think not 
is the time that God is going to get the glory. That's God's set time on the calendar to get glory out of your life. But here's the deal, though. The deal is, if I'm not ready at that time, God gets no glory. Because right, if I'm not right, ready, right, the thing right, that God right. has planned can't happen for me. All right. Come here, David. It can't happen for me because I'm not ready. Not because God's not ready. Because I'm not ready, it can't happen for me. First Thessalonians chapter 5, go here for me right quick. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse number 6. And listen to this right quick. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse number 6. I want y'all to be praying for me because I got things, so see, like I got things written down and, and I got to really allow the Holy Spirit to kind of intertwine and see how he really want to put it together because right. I got so much. I'm not going to be able to give it all, Sister Catherine, but I am going to give what the Holy Spirit intends for us to have. All right. And so the importance of the time, of this set time, the importance of this is what we really need to grab. Even though God is not bound by time, but timing is everything to God. It's everything to God. Because God don't do nothing early and he don't do nothing late. All right. So God has, he has appointed, he has fullness of, he has acceptable, he has due seasons. These are all the different kinds of times that God has on his calendar for us. These are not times for God. These are times for us. And so in first that's on chapter 5 verse 6 it says therefore let us not sleep watch this now because if I'm sleep what what does that say that mean I'm not focused right. that means I'm not paying attention my eyes can be wide open John and I can be asleep mm -hmm. that means I'm not paying attention so Jesus is in the garden of Gethsemane, right? And he tells Peter, James, and John, watch and pray so you don't enter into temptation. Don't go to sleep. But what did he do when he found when he come back? What were they doing? Sleeping. Sleep. That means something else had their focus. Something else had their attention. Something else had become a higher priority than what Jesus said. All right. And these are the kind of things that are going on in our life, Dad. We are allowing things to take our folks to steal our attention, and they become higher priorities than what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Watch this now. He said, therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Because there are others, watch this, Sister Elaine, allow any and everything to steal their focus and their attention. Right. That means they're talked to and brought by every wind of doctrine. Mm -hmm. Because their hearts are not fixed and their minds are not made up. Yeah. See, when your heart is not fixed and your mind is not made up, you can be talked to and for you can be torn. Yeah. But when your heart is fixed and your mind is made up and you settle on a thing you've already established, I'm not going to allow nothing to right. steal my focus. That's right. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do. Watch this. But let us watch and be sober. This has nothing to do with alcohol, mother. This has nothing to do with alcohol. Being sober means don't let foolishness be up right. in your mind. Right, don't right. be consumed by foolishness. Right, right. Drunk on stupid. Right. This has nothing to do with alcohol. Nothing to do with wine. This has everything to do with things that you're not supposed to be dealing with. Anything, listen now, because to be friends with the world is to be enemy with God. Right. So anytime I allow, uh, allow worldliness to come in, I'm drunk on stupid. That's right. Yeah. I'm not sober because, watch this, Sister Elaine, I'm only sober when I'm operating in the spirit. Right. I'm not in a sober mind, sister, when I'm in my flesh. Mm -hmm. That's intoxication. And so we allow all kinds of things, Mother Burnett, to bombard our mind and come up in our spirits and everything. And so when it's time to hear from God, I don't want to have nothing to do with God. I don't want to do that right now because I don't let this have a hold on me. I don't allow any and everything else to come in and have a higher priority in my life. That's, that's drunk. That's intoxicated. So for me to be sober-minded, that means I'm going to have to be operating in the spirit. Right. right, And simply operating according to the word and the will of God. That's how yeah. simple that is. Yeah. We're not going to get spooky with this. This ain't, this, this, you don't need rocket science to understand this. 
Because Paul said, if I operate in the spirit, I won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. That's right. So I need to make sure then, he said, therefore let us not sleep. That means this is something I have to do. If I'm asleep, I'm allowing things to come in. I'm giving place to things. Right. So he said, let that not happen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I will say, notice, everything God wants to say, he said, let it be. Mm. Come here, somebody. Mm. Everything God wanted, he said, let it be. Yeah, that's right. And right here it says, let us not. So that means I can let something be or let something not. Whatever I bind on earth, whatever I loose on earth. They're stopping and allowing. Right, right, right. So I'm the one that's allowing and letting things mm -hmm. come up in my life that's causing me not to be in a position of readiness. Right. Ooh, I hope y'all praying for right. me. Wow. Right. Yes. Right. We have to operate in self-control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God is not going to do that for me. That's right. That's right. Because watch this. I'm mature and I know better. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I say I'm mature and I know better. That's Amen. right. Mm -hmm. So what's the highest priority? What God has to say or what I want to do? Amen. <laughs> Brother David, I had to walk around that two that toothbrush hanging out my mouth, toothpaste, and I had to go get that <laughs> pen and paper, man. I had to do it. And so watch this now, watch this now, because this is important that we understand what God is saying. He said, our time, because when we look at, go back over here to Matthew chapter 24, back over here to verse 44, because there's a lot to be said over here, we need to see it, is that right? Right. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as you think not, this this time that God is talking about, he said, this is important. This is an important time. Even though you don't know the a.m. or the p.m., John, right, this is an important right, time. Right. I you. told you, you. It, yeah, Reverend, I told you about it. Watch, Brother John, I haven't given you a day. I haven't given you an hour, but I told you that something is going to happen, and I need for you to be ready. Whenever <laughs> I tap you on your shoulder, I need for you to stop doing what you're doing and pay attention to me, because if you do, you're going to get what you pay for. All right. Mm -hmm. Don't let nothing take precedent in this hour. You hear God speak, you stop. If you got to spit it out, spit it out, and run, do what God told you to do. Yeah. That's good, sir. You stop doing what you're doing and listen to God because if you don't, I promise you, you're going to wish you had to listen to God. This is the year of great expectation. You've been longing for a thing for years, wanting things to happen, praying about a thing. God said, this is the season. I want to do that for you. And even if you don't do that, I still want to hear what he got to say. Amen. That's more important Amen. than anything. Amen. Watch this now. Because I, I, I need for us to understand, and we're going to deal with this for a minute because we've got to deal with this for such an hour. For such an hour, for such an hour. As ye think not. All right. Let, let's look at, let's look at a, a few verses of scripture in Galatians 6 and 9. We're going to run through this if y'all don't mind. Galatians 6 and 9. Let's do this, please. All right. Due season. Say that for me. Due season. Due season. I need you to understand we, when we say due season according to Matthew 24, 44, for in, what, for in such an hour is a due season. For in such an hour that you think not is a due season. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. Are we ready? Amen. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season All right. we shall reap if we faint not. Uh -huh. can, can I help you with something? This is in my spirit so bad right now. This is in my spirit. Watch this now because we have to understand, we have to understand something. That there are things that, that's supposed to happen in certain times that are not coming back around again. That's right. They're going to happen at the time that God prescribed them to happen. Some things only happen once. I'm going to say this again. Some things only happen once. You only get a window of opportunity one time for it. That's right. 
I want to share this with you. I want to share this with you. I've been teaching us this for years. You are rehearsing every day for one big moment. Uh -huh. One big moment. All right. That's why I need you to practice, practice obeying God at all costs. Mm. Don't quench the Holy Spirit. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because if that's the practices, your behavior, you're going to miss your big moment. Yeah. All right. You're going to miss your big moment. And it's not going to come back around. Because you're showing God how you value him and the things he says. You're showing God what's most important to you. Can I help y'all? The rich young ruler showed up. I'm going to help you just for a minute. He came and he asked God for what he wanted. He talking to Jesus. What must I do? Listen now, listen. What must I do to inherit eternal life? Eternal life is an inheritance. He used the right words, uh -huh. but he really want to purchase it because he said, what must I do? Y'all don't want to talk to him. <laughs> he really want to purchase it because he said, what must I do to get it? Mm -hmm. No, no, you, you don't have to work for it. Yeah. But no, what you have to do, though, you have to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And do what he say. That's it. Okay, well, when Jesus began to talk to him about what I've done that since I was little. I've, so that lets you know, listen now, that lets you know he's not in infant stage. Uh -huh. I've done that since I've been little. So he's of some size. Right. He's at a level of maturity. He got enough sense to know. Watch this now. He said, okay, well, let's talk about the one thing you haven't done then. Since you've done all that, let's talk about the one thing. Watch now, we're talking about window of opportunity. We're talking about a due season and a set time right now because it was his time. Mm -hmm. And whatever brought him to Jesus wasn't his idea, uh -huh. but he thought it was. <laughs> he thought it was his idea. Let me tell you something, sister. God can use anything he wants to draw you to him. Yes, you will sir. think it's your idea, yes. but God used that thing to get you there. Yes. Just like he used the graduation to get us to North Texas. All right. yes, Come here with me right quick. All right. He used that graduation to get us to North Texas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He used that graduation to get my brother-in-law out of Mississippi. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the rich young ruler, watch this now. Let's, do, let's talk about the one thing that you haven't done. Just sell your goods. Watch this. Sell your goods and give to the poor. Nowhere in the scripture do it say sell your goods and give it all to the poor. It don't say that in the scripture. It says sell your goods and give to the poor. Sell your goods so you got something to give to the poor. I need for you to think about the poor. I'm going to leave what the poor is going to be with you always. The Bible says he walked away with his head held down. He walked away sorrowful because he couldn't do what the, the one thing God Jesus told him to do. He missed his due season. Just one. I, I want Just one thing. And let us not be weary in the well in well doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Verse 10. As we have therefore opportunity. You see this, right? Some things you're only going to get one opportunity to do it. I know we think everything comes back around. Everything does not come back around. That's right. You're right about that. Or oh, oh, I, 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 I can do it tomorrow. You may not even be here tomorrow. What makes you think you're going to be able to do it tomorrow? Matter of fact, what makes you think you have the resources and stuff tomorrow? Right, right. right. <laughs> right. Listen to your scripture now. I'm right here. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men. Especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Are y'all walking with yes, me sir. right here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're dealing with this. We're dealing with this. We're dealing with this thing about for in such an hour. God said, I need for you to talk about this today because even though I have said what I have said, we are still taking this thing too lightly. Yes. Too lightly. Amen. Oh, I wish I had somebody wow. praying for oh, me. Lord, today. He say, as much as I done said what I done said, he say, y'all still taking this thing too lightly. Wow. He saying, what's going to happen is y'all going to blame me when you miss your moment. Oh. I can't get no real help up in the room, but it's okay, though. Uh, 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 due season, due season, due season, due season. There's a due season set. That means there's an opportunity yeah. that's going to prevent itself, I mean, present itself to you, and you got to be ready. All right. You can't be That's getting it. ready. You can't be thinking That's about it. Ready. You got to be ready. Okay. Because I'm going to have somebody come from out of town. Mm -hmm. And they ain't coming back.
I wish I had a church of people for real. No, 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 let me go and help somebody right quick. Let me help somebody right quick. Because we had a man came all the way from Zimbabwe. Uh -huh. Oh, y'all. Right. 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 <laughs> we had a man came all the way from Zimbabwe. Let me help you with this, Brother David. God told us to adopt his son. He was in college going to the University of Maryland, Hart out here. Uh -huh. Told us to adopt him. You hear me? His daddy come here at his graduation. When his daddy met me, I'm just going to throw this out here because I'm in this vein right now and God wants somebody to hear. I'm going to okay. show you right. how, uh, how, how somebody, God can have somebody come from across the globe and put money in your hand. That man come from across the globe and he came to me when in the car we get ready to go to Walmart because they need some, some toiletries and stuff, right? And so I said, come on, y'all, I'll take y'all to Walmart. I know what I'll take. We get in the car and while we're driving, he go in his wallet and pull out some money. I ain't gonna tell y'all how much he pulled out some money. And he gave it to me. Hear me now? He gave it to me. And when I looked at it, my eyes got big, I got all excited. And he he kind of, he said, well, put it here. So, oh, no, no, and give me that. Give me that. I said, because God is showing me right now. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm getting ready to say uh -huh. something. I ain't never said worldwide like this, but I'm going to say it right now because I'm going to say it. God done already told me I'm a millionaire. All right. Amen. I'm, I'm talking about a millionaire over a millionaire. I'm a millionaire. Uh -huh. Sometimes, oh, I'm a, and he showed me I can bring a man from across the globe and put money. I'm not going to tell you how much, but he put some money in my hand. It was a large amount. He put money in my hand, David. And he looked at it like, oh, it's just money. I said, oh, no, no. I said, no, 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 it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. I said, because God just used you to do something. He's showing me just like this. Just like this, I can take you from low the bar to above the bar, just right, like that. All right. Oh, y'all don't want to. All right. Like listen, yeah. listen, though. Listen, let me tell you how good it is. I'm going to tell you how good it is now. He wanted to meet my wife, and she at work. And I called her. I said, baby, can you meet me over here with so-and-so? We're going to be over here. Uh, We're going to have something much want to introduce somebody. She come in the place. We sit down to eat. And when she sit down, that man went in his wallet and gave her the same amount he gave me. All right. <laughs> oh, y'all. All right. And watch this. And she responded just like I did. He said, y'all responded the same way. Hallelujah. I said, because we know what God done said. What the Lord done said. What the Lord done said. We believe the Lord. Watch this now. Even though it's foreign currency, it's written in American language in English. <laughs> the Bank of Zimbabwe. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. The treasurer from the Bank of Zimbabwe. The Lord says, see, that's how fast I can make you who I called you to be and told you. All right. You, Just like that. And so, sister, listen to me. There are some things that are only going to happen one time. And you got to be ready to move and to do what God is telling you to do at that particular time. I'm never, I'll probably never see that man ever again. That's right. Right. I'll probably that's never right. see him again. That's right. But I responded to God at that moment mm -hmm. for that man to go in his pocket. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We have therefore opportunity. That's what the scripture says. We mm -hmm. have therefore opportunity. Don't miss your opportunity. Don't miss it. Don't miss your opportunity. Mm -hmm. Now watch this now. Yeah. I, Rev, you don't hear the spirit. Why can't you divulge how much? Because ain't your business how much. <laughs> I done share what the Lord wanted me to share. It ain't your Amen. business how much Amen. it is. It's a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna say it like that. That, 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 that long, that long, man. You know what you you know what you need to know. That's right. Due season. Let's look at a point in time, if you could, Habakkuk chapter two and three. We know it, but I want to take you there. Habakkuk two and three. Come on. We got to do this today. The Lord said, uh, "We still having a problem, Timothy." He said, "We we still taking this thing too lightly." If God said we're doing it, we're doing it. Thank you, Lord. Listen, I ain't. Look, don't talk to me. If God say we still take it too lightly, we still take it too lightly. Talk to the Lord. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse number 3. We, we, we well acquainted with this. We just talked about due season. Watch this appointed time we see right here. Because this is the same thing for, for in such an hour. That's what, this is the same thing. Y'all hear me, right? Yeah. Look what it says, Reverend. For the vision is yet for what kind of time? An appointed time. Watch this. But at the end of it, it shall what? It shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will not 
because it will surely come to pass and will not tarry. We already mm -hmm. talked about what that meant. Tarry mean it's going to get here when it's supposed to. Is that right? right. Tarry mean you wait for the time it's appointed for it to get here. Watch this. But when it says it will not tarry, mean it will not go past the appointed time. Say that. It, it will, will not, not go, go past, past the appointed, appointed time. time. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go to Job chapter 7. Job chapter 7. I made sure I followed God's instructions this morning because we need to hear this. Those who are viewing by social media, you need to hear this. We've taken this thing too lightly. We procrastinate. That's the word I just heard. Procrastinating. I got time. I ain't got to do that right now. Yes, you do have to do it right now. This is the only time you have for sure is what you got now. Yeah. And all of this ain't guaranteed. That's mm -hmm. right. I believe God going to let us all get through this message, brother. Job chapter 7. Uh-huh, Job chapter 7. And, and we're going to look at verse 1 and Job chapter 7. Amen. Are we there? Yes, look at what it says. Is there not an appointed time to man upon earth? Y'all see this? Mm -hmm. Are not his days also like the days of a hireling? Mm -hmm. Y'all see that, right? Mm -hmm. now, now watch this now. I, we, you know what that mean appointed time upon the earth? That means you got a set time to live on this right, earth. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Yes. It is appointed unto man to what? Wants yeah. to die. Wants to die and after that the, the judgment. judgment. I'm going to live once and I'm going to die once. Right, right. And right. after that... The judgment. So we all got a point in time on this earth. Is that right? Is that not what the scripture says? Yes, yes, sir. We all got a point in time. Yes, right? And in my appointed time, there are some things, opportunities that are going to arrive in my appointed time. Watch this. They're not going to happen before my time, and they're not going to happen after my time. They're going to happen within my appointed time. Right, right. So I can't miss my opportunities in my appointed time. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I will say it. Because we got some people. Watch this. Because we miss our own opportunities, we try to live our opportunity to our children. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah. miss that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no? We miss opportunities. We miss them mm -hmm. and grow past our opportunity time. Mm -hmm. And now because we blew it and missed it, we try to live it through our children. Mm -hmm. oh. Instead of training our child in the way they should go, we want to train them in the way we want them to go. Right. Pray for them. I know exactly where I'm at right now. All right. See? <laughs> and so now, watch this, and then we make excuses for why we didn't accomplish what we should. Mm -hmm. Because we all one decision away mm -hmm. from the worst thing or the best thing happening, and we done made a lot of bad decisions. Come on, right like that. We done made a lot of bad decisions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, right. That's why we didn't accomplish what we should have accomplished. Right, right. And now we're going to now we're going to put our children through the misery of that. So they're going to struggle through life because I'm trying to make them, trying to live my life through them. I know where I'm at, Brother John. I know where I'm at right now. It might not be comfortable for us, but I know exactly where I'm at. Job 14 and 14, please. Come on, pray for me. Pray for me. John 14, 14. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Job 14, 14. All right. Job 14, 14. I'm going to calm down. I'm just a little excited. Amen. All right. Point in time. For in such an hour is a point in time. Say that. For in such an hour is a point in time. It's God. This is God's appointed time. Thank you, Lord. Job 14 and 14. Mm -hmm. We were just in, in chapter 7, so you shouldn't have to go right. far. If a man die, shall he live again? No. Okay. I, all the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. Now, let me tell you why this verse of scripture is so important. Listen to what it says. Listen to what it says. And dealing with this right here, you got to understand he's talking about the natural life of living again. Oh. He's not talking about, the, he's talking about the natural life of living again. Because you got people that think that you're going to die and come back as a cat or a cow or a horse or something. Right. That's not going to happen. Right. That's not right. going to happen. You ain't going to be re 
reincarnated as an animal when, when God created you a man or a woman. You're going to come back as an animal? Really? Thank you, sir. I hope not. That's not going to happen. Right. Thank you, sir. Thank so the question is, if a man dies, shall he live again? No. No. No way. No. No. Watch this. Brother John, you know how I live again? You know how I live again? I get eternal life through Jesus. Right, right, right. right, right I get right. eternal life. That's the only way I live again. That's the only way anybody's going to live again. So guess what? A good man never dies. Mm. Oh, I wish I had a church that caught that right there because, see, I become a good man when I become a Christian. I become a good man. Y'all, I become a good man, sister, because I'm the righteousness of God. I become a good man, and a good man don't ever die. Yeah. Oh, Lord, come here, somebody. Yeah. Pray for me right here, man. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. Because watch this to be absent from the body, John. I mean, somebody, Bob, and if you're not just mine, absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. I say a good man will never die. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Somebody help me right here. I ain't asking no offering or nothing for that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. And the only time you good is when you got some Jesus in your life. Right. Because before that, your very best and filthy rags according to the word of God. I'm in the Bible, sister. Yes, sir. You sure are, sir. Thank That's you, Bishop. Right. That's good, Bishop. If a man dies, shall he live again? No. So guess what's going to happen? I'm going to either die in Christ or out of him. That's right. That's right. I'm going to die in Christ or out of him. Yes, sir. Listen to what he says. All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change comes. Listen, family, listen. You know what that means? Listen. I don't have to struggle and try to make things happen. Change is going to happen in my life. If I do what God tells me to do, change is going to happen in my life when change is supposed to happen in my life. You listen, let me tell you what you can't change. You can't change your age. You can't change how tall you're gonna grow. You can't change none of that. You can't change none of that. So watch this. Change is going to happen because change has already been set in your life to happen. Right, right. Because nobody stays the same. Nobody. Nobody. Okay. So your change is going to come. You just got to be patient enough to wait for your change to come. Because somebody else's change came don't mean yours got to come. That ain't your turn. Right. That's right. right. All right. That's right. That's right. But because somebody else's change come, I want to change too. Cause well, you got to change. I ought to be together. It ain't your turn though. Yeah. Uh, right. Wait till your change come. It's going to come. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, wait for it. Wait, wait for, for it. it. Here's how we miss our change. Because we ain't ready. <laughs> All right. Amen. That's right. Amen. You know what makes us not ready, Brother John? When I say things like, I don't want that. Mm. 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 But that's for you, though. But I don't want that. I want that. I like that over there. That's what I want. Mm. <laughs> but that ain't for you. You can't handle that. Mm. But that's what I want. But you can't handle that. You're going to struggle with that. I said, you're going to struggle with that. It's not for you. Okay. Mentally, you can't even handle that. <laughs> We're not even going to talk about physically. Mentally, you can't handle that. Because as soon as you find out what all it tells with that, it's going to blow your mind. Mm -hmm. You're going to become overwhelmed, and all these things going to start happening. You're going to have a breakdown, and then you're going to blame God. <laughs> I told you to leave that tree alone. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I said, don't touch the tree because if you touch the tree, you're going to surely die. What did they do? It wasn't for them, right? right. And look what happened to their mind, Reverend. Look what happened to their mind when it happened. They start seeing things they weren't supposed to see. They start seeing things they weren't supposed to see, y'all. If a man dies, shall he live again? Answer me somebody. No. no. All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. Your change is on the way and God is telling you to get ready for it. Okay. Amen. God is telling you to get ready for change. Okay. He's telling you to get ready for turnaround, breakthrough. He's telling you to get ready for it. Okay. Progression, expansion. He's telling you to get ready 
for it. And when I spend time with God, he prepares me for the thing he's going to present to me. He tells me exactly what to do with it. There's a passage of scripture in the Bible. To this man and woman has a baby. You know what they did? They didn't just take it upon themselves to know what to do with the baby. You know what they did? They asked God, what do we do right. with this baby? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do we, how do we handle this baby? Mm -hmm. You know, everybody thinks they can have a baby and raise a baby, right? Mm -hmm. But we found out that ain't true, haven't we? Right. <laughs> Let's, 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 do, let's deal with something else. We've dealt with due season appointed time. Is that right? Yeah, well, Galatians yeah. 4 and 4 talks about the fullness of time. Okay, let's go there. Galatians 4 and 4. Galatians 4 and 4. This is the direction we must travel today. All right. You got to understand what time this is, right? Watch this, Reverend, because, because God is saying this, this thing I'm talking about, this time that I, that's set right here, this is not coming back around. I need somebody to pray for Bishop right here because God wouldn't have me to say that there are some things that only come around once. That's right. If, if that's not the message he wanted us to hear today. That's right, sir. This thing that God is preparing us for, he said, this is not going to come back around again. So the opportunity is going to present itself, and you got to be ready. You got to be ready. Because, listen, listen now, here's what we're missing. You know that there's one thing that you can do that can change the whole trajectory of your life. One thing can change it forever. I said one decision changes it forever. One. Can I help you? Pray for Bishop when I say what I'm about to say. There are a lot of us, a lot of us, who play Russian roulette with our bodies. The scripture call it fornication. It said when you fornicate, you sin against your own body. A lot of us have played Russian roulette, and by the grace of God, we're still able to live a decent life. But a lot of people then played Russian roulette and then picked up something that they can't get rid of. Oh, Lord. Right. Jesus. That's right. And because they got that thing they picked up, they can't even have a real relationship with nobody. Right. Like, y'all don't want to do this no, today, do you? Right. Right. And right. because they did that thing, Brother John, they can't even have a relationship with a woman. Oh man, I'm talking about a heterosexual relationship. Can't have none with nobody because what they done picked up. Right, right, right. Because if they do and they get intimate with somebody, they're going to pass it on. Yep. That's true. Yep. All right. Galatians 4 and 4. Mm -hmm. But when the fullness of time is come, yes. God sent. When the full of time had come, God sent forth his son made of a woman made under the Love. Under the law. Y'all see that, right? Mm -hmm. So watch this now. All these different times is when everything, listen, they ain't got to be right for me. They ain't, everything ain't got to be perfect in my life for me. But when things are set where God wanted to be, looking like God wanted to look, sounding like God wanted to sound, that's, that's right. his time. That's right. Mm -hmm. that's regardless right. of what's going on in your life, regardless of what you think, mm -hmm. is th that's the time for God. Mm -hmm. Notice they wasn't ready. They wasn't in receiving more when Jesus was born. Because if they were, they'd have made room for him in the end. Mm. Pray for me. Right. They would have made room for him in the end. No, he didn't give them a PM or AM. He didn't give them a day or a month, but they said he said that the Messiah was coming. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And they wasn't ready. If they had been, they'd have made room for him in the end. Right. They'd have told somebody, else, hey, it's time for this to end. Y'all got to leave here because the Messiah getting ready to be born. Right. Get up out of here. That's right. You ain't got to go home, but you sure you can't stay here. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We making room for the Messiah tonight. Yeah, that's right. That's not what they did, is it? No. Mm -hmm. no. That's how we know they was not ready. ready. They wasn't ready. They wasn't ready. Acceptable time. Acceptable time. This is this is that same thing for in such an hour is an acceptable time. It's not gonna be a convenient time for you. It's God's time. Let's go to Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49, verse 8. This is 
what God wants to be today because, again, God shouldn't have to plead with us to get ready. But God want this thing for you so bad. Mm. God want this for you so bad that he will get on this thing. You know how we say it? You just won't let that go with you. <laughs> you just going to keep on. You won't let that go with you. God said, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to let it go. Trust me, I'm going to let it go. But I'm giving you every opportunity to grab hold of this. Thank Amen. You. Thank you. Oh, Thank the time you. is going to come when I'm yeah. going to let it go. Isaiah 49 and 8, with that? Yes. Thus said the Lord, in an acceptable time, y'all see that? Yes. In an acceptable time have I heard thee. Okay, now why is this important, Sister Elaine? Mother, why is this important? He said, because now it's time for you to hear back from God after you pray. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Yes. This scripture is speaking to that. Listen to it. Mm -hmm. Thus said the Lord, in an acceptable time have I what? Hey. I heard hey. thee. Hey. And in a day of salvation have I helped hey. thee. And I will preserve thee and give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth to cause the inheritance, the desolated heritage. Now watch this. It's important that we understand God didn't hurt. I, I love this right here because it speaks to God asking your prayers right now. Okay. This is the acceptable time. All right. All right. This is the acceptable time. I think that's good. That's, that's good. good. That's, that's good. good. That's, that's good. good. That's, that's good. good. I've heard thee in the best of I've heard thee and watch this and watch this and I've helped thee. God, everything God's talking about, he's talking about helping you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch this, helping you fulfill the promise that he made. I'm going to use you to make your family name great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use, I, I'm still talking about taking you to the place of no return. Mm -hmm. I know y'all forgot. Y'all mm -hmm. forgot mm -hmm. about that, didn't y'all? I'm still talking about taking you to the place of no return. What place is that, mother? He said that place to where you ain't got to try to fight whether or not you're going to pay your electricity bill All and right. eat. You ain't got to worry about fighting right. whether you're going to pay All insurance, right. life insurance, right. or pay your car. No, I'm talking about getting you to that place to where you ain't got to try to figure out which one you're going to do. All right. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. That's the place of no return I'm talking about taking you. All right. Yes, sir. Either I'm going to pay my rent <laughs> or I'm going to eat. Oh, God. God oh, said, no, you're going to be able to do all of that. If you listen to me, you don't have to, you're not going to have to juggle that. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Help me now. Help me now. Help me now. Second Corinthians 6 and 2. Come on. Second Corinthians 6 and 2. Second Corinthians chapter six verse two. Amen, Lord. We gotta talk about this, man. We gotta talk about this. We gotta talk about it. Second Corinthians six and two. <clears throat> Although we're gonna deal with verse one two. Listen to what this says. Listen, listen to this because. God has been talking to us about being in a position of receiving. Mm -hmm. right. Listen to what it says, verse 1 and 2. Listen to this. We then as workers together mm -hmm. with him beseech you also that you what? Receive, receive not the grace of God in vain. Mm -hmm. Watch this. So don't receive the things that God is saying in vain. Mm -hmm. Don't receive what God is saying in vain. Put yourself in a position to where you receive it from God. In other words, watch this. I'm receiving and believing. I'm receiving and believing. My receiving in vain, watch this, Atala. My receiving in vain is when I'm doubting. Hmm. I'm hearing what's being said, but I'm doubting. I'm not in, I'm not in agreement. I'm not really accepting that and receiving that. Wow. That's in vain. Right. Right. But if I'm receiving in faith, that's not in vain because faith put me in a place to receive. Right. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. Watch what it says now, verse 2. For he said, I have heard thee in the time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the acceptable time. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all see this? Yeah, he yeah. said, now is the acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Now is the day. 
Now is the day. See, this is good, family. Let me read that to you one more time. All right. For he said, I have heard thee in a time accepted. Mm -hmm. And in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, now is mm -hmm. the accepted time. Behold, now is the day. Now is the day. Now is the time for this to happen. So don't squander this. Don't, don't, don't let this fall on hard ground. Don't let this fall in a place to where it, it don't take root in your life. Don't dismiss what God is saying right now with unbelief. Don't do it, family. Don't do it. This is not the time. This is not the time. This is one of the most important seasons of your life right now. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of the year, here's what the Lord had me to say to us, Mother Burnett. This is supposed to be the year unlike any year you've ever had. Right, right, all right. All right. This is supposed right. to be that year for you. Right, right. This is supposed to be the king that King Uzziah died kind of year for you. Okay, okay, yes, sir. That that thing God is talking about doing happened in everything from then on, you're going to relate it to it was 2021. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. When everything turned around, it was 2021. Amen. When I thought it was going to be 2020, it was 2021. That's right. All right. I remember because it was some things I prayed about in 2020, but it came in 2021. Y'all right. oh, ain't doing this right. 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 But yeah, it came in 2021. God gave me another chance in 2021. Yes, sir. Thank you, Father. Uh, listen to what the Holy Spirit said. He said, listen, at at this time, you can't say this is not the time for this. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know God is on time, David. Yeah. I mean, he waited to, right after I read this scripture to have me to say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can't say, we can't say this ain't the time for that. No, right. Okay. Lord have mercy, can't Jesus. Say it. Because of what's going on, Tyler, in our world, a lot of people saying this ain't the time for that. It ain't the time because you're scared. Uh -huh. It ain't the time because you're afraid. But if God say this is the time for it, this, this is, is the, the time, time for it. And right. ain't nothing going on in the earth going to stop it being the time for That's it. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. The only thing going to stop us from receiving it is that we are doubting and not taking what God says seriously. Right. God say this. He said, you cannot say this is not the time for it. What time are we talking about? Let's go back over to Matthew chapter 24, 44. Let's see. <laughs> this is the time. Let's see what time we're talking about. Well, what time are you talking about, Bishop? The, same, the time we've been talking about all the time. All right. The time mm -hmm. we've been talking about all the time. Right, right, right. But right. because some of us ain't paying attention, we ain't getting what we pay for. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. All right. So God's got to say it again, Reverend. Thank you, Lord. Okay. I thank you for it. Another chance. Thank you, Lord. If nothing else, this ought to make you, you ought to be so grateful that God is, is yes. going to the extent yes. that he's yes. going to. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. God shouldn't have to please with his people, but he did. Right. Listen, here's the time we're talking about. Therefore, be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not. That's the time we're talking about, uh -huh. right there. The time you think not. The time you think not. For such a time as that you think not, this is the time we're talking about. Yes, sir. We're talking about God's set time, his due season, his appointed time, his fullness of time, his acceptable time. That's the time we're talking about. Any time in 2021, that's the time we're right, talking about. Right, right. Anytime, anytime during 2021 is the set time for you. God know what time that is. Here's the deal. Will you stop brushing your teeth to listen? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Hold on, Lord. I got soap in my eyes. Okay, wipe it out. <laughs> right, right. I'm that person, y'all. I'm that person. It takes my wife to talk about my memory. I love her. But listen. I got to I got to turn loose and write stuff down. Mm -hmm. 
I don't listen. I don't trust myself to remember it. I don't because I know. Listen, listen. Here's what the seed of the sword says: the seed was sown, and the enemy came and took it. That's right. That's right. God sowing a seed, and the enemy will come take that thing. Because I got to have it, sister. When God talked to me, I'm saying what He's saying to me out loud. Mm -hmm. All right. Because that's the way I remember stuff. I told so I'm saying it out loud as He's saying it. I'm saying it out loud. Guess what? If I don't write that down, though, what I'm saying, the devil will take that from me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'll be like, because I did this before, mother. Lord, please bring it back to me. Come on, come on, Lord, bring it back to me. You should have stopped and wrote it down. Mm -hmm. You didn't deem it necessary and important before. Now you want me to give it back to you. Two words, David. Stop it. Stop man. it. Stop, Stop it. This is the time we're talking about. This is the time we're talking about. The time that nobody knows but God. That's the time we're talking about. That time that God is going to get glory out of your life. That's the time we're talking about. Listen, family, listen. God is not revealing his time because man is good for rescheduling things. Mm -hmm. This is why I had to write that down because I couldn't have made that up, David. He said the reason I don't share my time and stuff, he said, because y'all got a real bad habit of wanting to reschedule stuff. Yeah. You let anything cause you to miss an appointment. Y'all don't want to do this today, do y'all? Mm. Uh -uh. Listen to what he said. Listen to what he said, Dad. Listen to what he said. He said, y'all got a real bad habit of wanting to reschedule things. Mm -hmm. Just because you done got caught up and messed around, time done caught up with you, you mm -hmm. tired, you sleepy, you hungry, whatever you want to call it. All right, Lord. <laughs> you use any reason you can to reschedule something. Mm -hmm. He said, that's why I'm not telling you when. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Man, I would. Mm -hmm. I hear you, Lord. Thank you. Lord, thank you. He said, just like anything else, he said, you reschedule this. You try to reschedule this on me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like that. He said, so that's why I'm not telling you. He said, so if I don't tell you, you can't say this is going to interfere with nothing else. Hmm. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. He said, that's not why I'm, he said, that's not, that's why I'm not going to tell you because you're not going to be able to say that what I'm talking about is going to interfere with nothing else in your life. Mm -hmm. Ooh, y'all know that's from God. If you don't hear nothing else I said all day, you better grab that. You better grab that. I told you, God knows us. Y'all think God don't know us, huh? Oh, he knows. God knows us. God knows us. Watch this then. Let's, let's see if we can get some, get some, some scripture to help you with this then. He said, for, he said, you'll do it for anything. You, you just, he said, but my answer to you is going to be no. My answer would be no. If you ask me, could you be scared? My answer would be no to you. <laughs> it would be no. But here, here, here are the reasons we, we can, we, we, we'll, we'll want to be scared to fuck. Can y'all, y'all ready for this? Mm -hmm. We done read it before. Let's go to Luke chapter 14, though. Let's read it again. <laughs> Yeah, Luke chapter 14. Let's go back over here and read it again. We done read it before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So at the verse number 16. Amen. Parable of the Great Supper. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Oh, bless you. Watch this. If I don't tell you when, you can't tell me something that's interfering with something else because you don't know when. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. You don't know when, so you can't say, oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. Wait, wait a minute. Well, how do you know you're not going to be able to do it? You don't know when. You don't even right. know when. How do you know you're not going to be able to do it? Oh, I already know I'm not going to be able to do that. Mm. Oh, that's because you don't want to do that. That's what that is. That's so yeah, you don't want to do that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to be through in a minute. Are y'all ready? Watch this now. Because what God is saying, all things are ready. And he's just trying to get us ready, brother. Yeah. He's just trying to get us ready. Y'all know that, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Well, he ain't trying to do nothing. He's telling us to get ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He just told us to get ready. Watch this. Start at verse number, what I said, 15 16. 16. 16. This is what it says. Then said he unto him, a certain man made a great supper and bad many, and sent his servant at supper time, watch this, to say to them that were bidding. Who are the bidding ones right now? We are. We are. Uh -huh. we, are. we are. Watch this now. Come for all things are now ready. Right. God wouldn't tell me to get ready for something if something wasn't already ready. Right. Right, right, right. right. Because watch this, everything has been predestined, pre-purposed, and pre-planned for us already. So we just got to get ready for what God has already done. Amen. Right. If that wasn't true, he wouldn't say in Matthew 6, 33, but if I seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, everything will be added to me. How can it be added to me if it's not ready? That's mm. all right. That's right. All right. It can only be added right. to me if it's already right. ready. Right, right, right. Yes, sir. That's good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come for all things are what? Not now ready. Now ready. Watch this. And they all with one accord began to make excuses. In other words, can I counsel, please? <laughs> I got an excuse why I can't come. I need to counsel this. The first saying, the first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground and must need go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. Y'all see that, right? Mm -hmm. That means I'm making an excuse. Right, right. I'm just using this as an excuse to counsel the apartment. To not be there. Because right. why? Because I would rather be over here doing that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the next one, David. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee have me excused. Here's a reason for me. I'm making an excuse. I'm using this as an excuse. Why? Because I would rather be there than over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be doing this wow. than that. Here we go, here we go. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore, watch this, I cannot come. Oh, that's the one that gets me right there, brother John. <laughs> Ain't no baby, I cannot, absolutely cannot come. <laughs> Excuse, brother David. He said, look, I don't want to change the appointment, I can't come. At least the others want to change the appointment. Can we do it later? Can we do it tomorrow? This joker right here said, I cannot come. I don't care what day it's on. I don't care what time it is. I cannot come. You know why? You know why? Because I have married a wife. <laughs> happy wife. Happy life. That devil is alive, man. That devil is alive right there, man. I love my mothers. I love my sisters. Happy wife is not happy life, man. Right. That's right. You sure right. That's foolishness, man. Yes. So at the expense of everybody else's miserableness, mm -hmm. as long as the wife happy, every yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> Don't create them kind of animals, them, them devils in your life. That's right. Yeah. We love y'all very much, and y'all y'all sit high. Y'all second to Jesus. That's right. Y'all second to Jesus. Amen. Oh, yeah. We're chained before him. All and right, you ain't equal right, to right, right, second okay. to Jesus. Hmm. All right. Okay. Right, right, right. I'm talking about, see, I'm, I'm helping you right now, see, because I know you some of y'all think your children second to Jesus, but they're not. That's right. Come on, they're sir. They're not. Don't like, you, you don't like me now because I said your children. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Bishop. It's okay. You see, you see what God is saying, though. You see what God is saying. Mm -hmm. This is these are the excuses that we're using. We're using. Watch this now. We'll use anything He said to change the appointment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Reschedule the appointment. Not not today, Lord, because see, you know the Super Bowl <laughs> going out today. <laughs> NBA championships coming on. Mm -hmm. You know, I got to go to the gym. You know, I got I, I, I got gym membership. I got to. I don't waste my money. Boy, it ain't for ten dollars a month. Shut up. It ain't for ten dollars a month. Cowboy. No. And you ain't really using the gym membership. It's an excuse for you not to do something else. Uh oh. All you right. ain't got a man cave, so you go to the gym. Uh oh. Wow, man. See, a man cave. Yeah, I ain't got a man cave, so I go to the gym. Uh -huh. I'm tired of being around my wife, so I go to the gym. Tired of being around my children, I go to the gym. All right. That devil is a lie, man. Yes. That devil is a whole lie. Yes. Come on, Bishop. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Okay. We use we use the gym for all kind of excuses. I gotta go to the gym. You, I I can't stop going to the gym. You ain't lost now pound. You ain't going to the gym. You need to stop going to that gym. This is this something ain't going on right there too, cause you ain't lost a pound and you ain't got a muscle. You're flabby everywhere. You got a kid. Got no muscles. Ain't got no muscles. What are you doing at the gym? What are you working out? <laughs> Your frustrations? <laughs> That's right. Come on, we're going to stop playing, man. We're going to stop playing. Stress. Your stress? Yeah, stress. Come on. We're going to stop that. Let's go to Matthew chapter 4 as we get ready to close right now. Because, watch this now. We can't make excuses. This is how we need to respond to God. That's right. This is how we need to respond to God. This is what God is saying to us now, family. No excuses. Matthew chapter 4, we're going to start at verse 18. Matthew chapter 4, we're starting at verse number 18 to about verse 22. Yeah, 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 yeah. Matthew 4, starting at verse number 18 to, what did I say? Yeah, 22. And we're going we're gonna to close right here, okay? Listen now, because we can't, we can't be making excuses because the things that God is talking about this opportunity, they're not going to come back. Mm -hmm. The Lord wouldn't have had me to say this if that wasn't true. And the enemy got us believing we got time for everything. Again, God is not moved by time. Timing is everything to God, but time don't mean nothing to God. Right. He gave us time. That's for us. Right, right. But time don't mean nothing to God because he's not relegated by time. Nothing, nothing is caught up in time with God. He's just giving us time. Right? right? Right. In creation, he said, this is going to be the beginning of seasons, months, and years. That's giving us time right. to do things because we needed some organization in life. Yeah. And because he's a God of order, he put order in our life. Mm -hmm. And so even when we didn't have clocks, we still had a way to tell time. That's right. Had a way to keep time. Yeah. Right, right, right. 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 Let's look at this because we can't be making excuses. We got to respond to God quickly. Say quickly. Quickly. He's looking for me to respond to him quickly. He's looking for me to drop things, stop doing what I'm doing, and pay attention to him. Because can't, listen, because can't nobody help you. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because nobody know when. Mm -hmm. So can't nobody help you. Right. Say, I need this. I need, I need this. this. Trust me, you need this. You need this. You need it. Here we go. And Jesus walking by the Sea of Galilee saw two brethren. Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother casting a net into the sea. Y'all see this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For they were fishers. Mm -hmm. Now watch this now. They, they doing their, their business. This is what they do for a living. Right. Right? right? This is what they do for a living. So this is important to them. Mm -hmm. This is how they feed their family brother. This is important to them. Mm -hmm. They don't catch no fish. They in trouble. Mm -hmm. They don't go to work, they're in trouble. They got to catch it because this is livelihood. So this is important to them. Watch this now. And Andrew's brother casting that they were fishers, verse 19. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fisher of men. Watch this now. And they did what? Straightway right. left their nets and followed him. Uh -huh. Right. They left their nets and followed him. Listen, David, they walked away from what they were doing and immediately, straightway, they didn't hesitate, they walked away and followed him. Mm -hmm. This is the way God needs for us to respond to him. All right, all right. I know this is getting ready to hurt somebody's feelings. <laughs> I know it is because this is going to be sensitive, this is going to be sensitive. Every time a baby cry, I don't need you, you don't have to run to him. I say every time your baby cry, don't mean you got to run to him. I say every time your baby cry, don't mean you got to run to him. <laughs> See, the devil know my vulnerabilities. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the devil know if every time my baby cry, I'm going to get up and run, he's going to make that baby cry. <laughs> yes, sir. He'll make that baby cry. Whatever your vulnerability is, the devil going to push that button, man. That's right. Whatever your scalp is, God gonna, that devil going to pick that scalp, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the truth. You got to be able to turn that off when God starts speaking. Yeah. You're going to be all right. You ain't getting ready to die. That's not unto death. What you saying, Lord? What you talking about? 
Yeah, let's go and get that fish. Yeah, yeah, look, I, I got you, Lord. I, I know you'll put a sock in that mouth over there. What, what you want to talk about? I know as long as I'm taking care of this, you're going to take care of that. Amen. That's what he uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. So I'm getting ready to pay attention to the Lord right now. I'm not going to let the baby or nothing else distract me right. because if God is talking to me right now, that's going to be okay. Yes, and watch this. If God is talking sir. to me and something needs to happen to that baby, he's going to tell me to go to the baby. That's yes, correct. Yes. He'll tell me, Brother John, let me tell you why the baby cried. Mm -hmm. It ain't because it's hungry. Mm -hmm. Something just bit it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ain't because it's wet. Something just bit it. He got a tummy ache. Something that doc, the, the Lord will tell you if he wants you to deal with that baby, he'll tell you what's wrong with the baby. I'm yes, just using the baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because the baby is right. a sensitive area for us. Right, yes, right, yes, right. Yes. When God is talking, that baby can. Trust me, he'll put that baby to sleep. Mm -hmm. But he want to see if you're going to respond to him or you're going to rush to the baby, whatever that sensitive area in your life. That's correct. Can you drop that thing for a minute and listen to me? No matter what it is. No matter what it is, Reverend. All right, all right. Can you drop that and listen to me? Yes, Lord. I hear you. Because I'm going to give you wisdom on how to deal with that. True. Look what it says right here, family. Look what it says. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. Mm -hmm. All right. They left the nets and everything connected to the net. <laughs> the boat, yeah. the net, uh -huh. the fish. Everything that went with it, they walked away from all of it. Okay, let's go to verse 21 then. And going on from thence, he saw, watch this, another two brethren, mm -hmm. James and the sons of Zebedee and John his brother, in a ship with Zebedee, watch this now, their father mending their nets. I, I, I want y'all to pay attention to this now. And he called them. And they immediately left the ship and their father right. and followed him. All right. Mm. 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 Sister Kathy, you see that, right? Yes. Watch now. Listen, David. Why? He didn't, they didn't just walk away from the net. They walked away from the net, everything connected to the net and the boat and their father mm -hmm. and followed him. Mm -hmm. This is how God is wanting us to respond, family. This is how God wants us to respond. How important is ready to you? Mm -hmm. Do you see? Do you see the necessity in being ready? Because you can't benefit unless you are. That's right. right. You can't have what's connected to the calling unless you are. And I know some people right, will say, oh, you, you, you're trying to be a little bit too extreme right now. You just, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Because, because it's too easy for us to just dismiss what God say. It's written. It's too easy for us to do it. It's written, sir. I, I need you to be willing to stop what you're doing. Walk away from that for a minute. That's going to be okay. When you Trust me, when you get back, it's going to still be there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Walk away from that and come and get some wisdom from me. Come and hear what I have to say because what I have to say is going to change your life. Mm -hmm. It's going to even change how you see that. When you walk back over there, you're going to see that a whole different way now. Mm -hmm. So I need you to respond. I need you to drop, stop what you're doing and pay attention. The importance of being ready. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about. The importance of being ready. If they don't stop of being ready, Reverend, thank you. If they don't stop and follow Jesus, man, mm -hmm. guess what? Here's, I'm getting ready to say this, and I really believe this. He wasn't coming back to them to ask them again. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. He wasn't going to come back there and ask them again. It was the fullness of time. It was due season, y'all. They were ready. They was ready. They was ready because immediately they stopped what they were doing mm -hmm. and followed him. No hesitation. They stopped what they were doing and followed him. And the reason God wanted us to see the part about the Father is because we're talking about a person now you may have to yeah. Yeah. talk about a person you may have to walk away from. Yeah. Yeah. We used baby earlier. A body, a person you might have to walk away from for a minute just to do what I'm telling you. You ought to hear what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And you can do it. Yes. You're going to have to do it. Because you don't want to miss out. 
don't want to no. miss this. This opportunity, when it presents itself, you got to be ready. Got to be. Got to be ready. Here's what we in. Here's what we in. Here's what we in. I want us to go to Luke chapter 23 and we're going to be done. We're going up on Mount, on, on Mount Calvary right now. <clears throat> Luke 23. Let's go on Mount Calvary right quick and we're done. <clears throat> we're going to start at verse number 35. We're going to read all the way to verse number 43, okay? 35 to 43, and we're done. <clears throat> this is a fullness of time. Mm -hmm. This is a set time. This is a due season. This is an acceptable time right here. This time right here. And watch this now. And this time was just for that thief on the cross. It wasn't for. Let me say it to you like this. What I mean, what I, what I meant by that is, it was his time to get saved, and he did what was necessary for his salvation to come. Mm -hmm. right. The rest of them got revelation that Jesus had been telling the truth. Right. But we don't know how many of them got saved, but we know he did. Mm -hmm. Is that right? right? We know he did. So if it wasn't for nobody else, it was surely for him. Mm -hmm. yes. That makes sense to us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The rest of them Matala, got revelation, but it don't say they got saved, though. Mm -hmm. But this man got saved. Can we agree on that? Mm -hmm. Well, let's look at it. Let's look at it then. See if we can. Let's look at it. Because we're dealing with, we're dealing with the, the, the importance of being ready. Mm -hmm. And he had to get ready. we in Luke chapter 23, starting at verse 35 to 43. Because he had to get ready, y'all. And we see him getting ready. Yes, Lord. Okay, mm -hmm. watch this. <clears throat> and the people stood, and the people stood uh, beholding, and the and the rulers of them uh, derived him, saying, "He saved others; let him save himself, if he be the Christ, the chosen of God." And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him and offering him vinegar, and said, "If thou be the King of the Jews, save thyself." Well, first of all, he didn't need saving. Right. He's not there for himself. He don't right. need saving. That's right. Right? right. So in other words, watch this. He don't need to get ready. Yeah. Right. Right. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They need to get ready. He right. don't need to get ready. Right. right. Okay, watch this now. And a superscription also was written over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. And one of the male factors which were hanged railed on him saying, If thou be Christ, Save thyself and us. Here, here we go. Here we go again. Here we go again. He's not ready. Say he's not ready. He's not ready. He's not ready. He, he's, not ready. he's not ready. And watch this now. And he's following the foolishness of somebody else. He's repeating something here. Somebody else say, right? Watch this verse four. But the other answered, rebuked him, saying, "Doest not thou fear God?" Seeing thou art in the same condemnation as me and the rest of us, not him. And we indeed justly, for we receive, say so they're in a position to receive. They're in a position. Right? Now they're in a position to receive. Now, now they're gonna they're gonna receive, they just do. Is that right? Right, yes. right. See that 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 thou art in the same condemnation, but we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing amiss. Y'all see this? Yeah. Verse 42. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, because watch this, everything he's doing is getting him ready. Uh -huh. Come on, y'all. Right. Everything he's doing is getting ready. Yes, watch this. Watch this now. Mm -hmm. Because notice, ready don't come to him. He got to go get it. Yeah. Right, right, right. Are y'all with me right yeah, here? Right. He's got to go after it. Daddy, he, everything he's saying is him going after being ready. Before he say the thing he say to Jesus, he's getting ready. He's establishing his readiness first. All right. Oh, Lord, this All is right. good. All right. mm -hmm. And he said, verse 42 again, and he said unto him, what, what did I miss out there? Verse 41. Let me do first, verse 41 again. We indeed judge before we receive the due rewards of our deeds, but this man has done nothing amiss. 
And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me. Now watch this now. He had to get ready before he could say, Lord, remember me. Everything he did before was getting ready. Right, right, right. Yeah. He right. gets in the position and the posture of readiness. Uh -huh. right, and right. then he asked the question. Yes, yes. Because remember, everything they had done was a miss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right, right. Everything had to, listen, everything they had done was a miss. Right. They missed heaven. They missed salvation. Yeah. They missed the fall. Yeah. They missed it all. They missed it all. Right. But Jesus hadn't done nothing to miss. Ah. Watch this now. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou cometh into thy kingdom. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now watch, watch now. We're gonna we're gonna see that he done already established readiness. He's already yeah. the partial readiness yeah. because of the answer that he gets. That's right. Watch what's happening. Watch what happened. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, today. When? Today. When is today? Today is the today. opportunity. Yeah. Today is, today is. Today is, yeah. today is. now today is day. Right. Right. Is that not what we read? Right. Over right. in 7 right. Corinthians. Is that not what right. we read? Right. Today is the opportunity, right? right? Yes. Yeah. Right. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shall thou be with me in paradise. Now it took for him, he had to get ready, Reverend. He wasn't ready. He got ready though. He went after ready. If he didn't do the things to get ready, there's no way he could have approached Jesus with that. And there's no way Jesus would have came back with the answer that he did. Because you got to be ready. Because heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. Y'all come Amen. on here. Right? Heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. Amen. That's why Jesus said, I go to prepare a place Amen. for you. Uh, you weren't true, I already told you. But I go to prepare a place for you. And when I'm finished, I'm going to come back and get you so we can be with each other for how long? Forever. It's a prepared place, man, for a prepared people. Yes, sir. He had to get ready, Brother John. Yes, he sir. wasn't ready when he come up on that hill. When they put him on that cross, he was not ready, but he got ready. Right. He went after ready. That's right. Here's what the Holy Spirit told me to say to you. He said, go get ready. And when you get ready, don't let ready go. All right. Let me say that to you. Right. 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 Yeah. He That's said, right. go That's get right. ready. And when you get ready, don't let ready go. That's oh, right. boy, that was good to be right. 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 yeah. 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 He said, yeah. you go get yeah. ready. When you get ready, don't let ready go. That's it. it. That's it, Bishop. Yes, indeed. You got to go get it, baby. You got to go get it. It's not yeah. going to come. You, you're just not going to wind up in the position and posture readiness. Mm -hmm. It don't happen that way. Right. Mm -hmm. If yeah. it did, that thief on the right wouldn't have to say a word. Mm -hmm. That's right. He wouldn't have to say a word. But watch this though now. He had to say a word though because the scripture says in Romans chapter 10, 9 and 10, I got to confess with my mouth the Lord and believe my heart that God raised him from the dead yeah. to be saved. Mm -hmm. But John, he had to get ready. Mm -hmm. We got to get ready, man. Yes. And we can't play with this. We can't play with this. Notice the thief on the right understood. I ain't got for so much time. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. This opportunity ain't coming back. Nope. No. Y'all come. Yeah, no, that's boy. right. This opportunity is not going to present itself again. That's right. If he done blew that, it was over. Oh. That thief on the left, he blew it. Yeah. He missed his opportunity. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't going to get a second chance. Mm -hmm. He wasn't going to get a second chance. We don't get. This thing that God is talking about now is not coming back. Yeah. Friends, those of you who are listening on social media, please, please take heed to what God is saying. This thing is not going to come back. This opportunity that God is going to present, it will not come back a second time. It will not come back a second time. You got to get ready. You got to get ready for this. If you're not ready, you're not in a, in a mode of receiving. You can't receive unless you're ready. This is about God getting glory in your life. This is about taking you to, to a place of no return in your life. To where you ain't got to keep struggling to do this and struggling to do that. This is... I heard my son say in his testimony today, that's not his portion. This is not your portion. God don't want you in this place, the place where you are. He don't want you to stay there. He come to move you from that place. But you got to be ready. 
You got to make a decision that the time is now. He said, today is the day of salvation. Harden not your heart. Those of us who are in this room, take heed to what God is saying right now. Mm -hmm. Don't continue to take this thing lightly because it's going to sting. It's going to hurt if you miss this moment because watch this. It's not going to be hid from you. You're going to see that you missed it. And you're going to see to the, to the extent you missed it. It's not going to be hidden from you. It wasn't hidden from Moses. God showed him the promised land. But he couldn't go in. Right. I don't know about you, but 40 years of dealing with stiff neck folk for 40 years, <laughs> mm -hmm. going through everything, there's no way I want to miss the promised land, right. man. Right. There's no way I want to miss this thing that God is talking to me about right now. After, listen, after all we've been through, I don't know about you, you might not think you've been, I've been through some stuff. And I don't want to miss this. Don't want you to miss it, but you got to have a, a made up mind that you're going to go and get ready. And when you get ready, you're not going to let ready go. Do this for yourself and for your family. Do this so God can get the glory. Don't you want God to get some glory? I so, want him to yes, get some. So. Because I, it's time for him to get some. Oh, yes, sir. It's time. This thing is so that people can say, man, that okay. is a God. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And I know that was God. That, that was God. Is that not what they said when Jesus went? They realized yes. he was the son of God. Yes. Jesus had to go through all that so that somebody else could, and you had to go through all that so that somebody can see that there's a God, family. That's good, Bishop. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. That's why he had to go through. He, to he said, if I be high lifted up in this earth, I will draw the men said. unto just myself. Lift just lift up. You just lift me up. Yeah. That's good. And how do we do that? Let's get in position, y'all, of readiness. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So whatever time, God tap you on your shoulder, give you the nod and the wink, I'm you're going to be ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. You're going to be ready. ready. And everything that's supposed to be in place will be in place. You ain't got to be concerned about that. <laughs> everything will be where it's supposed to be. You just got to be where you're supposed to be. Mm. And right now, that's just in a place of readiness. Mm -hmm. All right. As soon as you get there, because it wasn't until that young man got there that Jesus responded to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once he got there, okay, it's good now, yeah. And it was after that that they saw that he was God. Come here. Mm -hmm. After that, after that boy got saved. Now they saying, yeah. he didn't go till that boy got saved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, I called him a boy. Don't get it to me. I called him a boy. Mm -hmm. Till that gentleman got saved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can we see this? Hmm. But let's help get ready then. Let's, let's, let's help get ready. Let's help get ready. Those of you who are viewing by social media and those of us who are in this room, we had that hour and I served that time and I served to where we know what's necessary. We know what steps we need to take to begin the, the journey to readiness. And I'm going to say this one more time before we pray this prayer. You're not going to just wind up in the place where you've been dreaming about. Nope. You're not going to just wind up in a place, wake up one day and you're there. That's not how life works. That's, that is not going to happen. That is straight fairy tale. That is not going to happen. You're not going to wake up and things are going to be different. That's not how it works. You have to do something. The Bible tells us faith without works is dead. It is. You have to do something, friend. First thing you have to do is you have to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. That's the first thing that you're going to have to do. And so I'm asking you to just stop what you're doing right now for these next few minutes and really pay attention to the process. We're getting ready to approach readiness right now. You don't need your pencil now. You don't need any paper. Just need your attention. 
just need your attention. God is speaking to you, friend. Just like he's speaking to us, he's speaking to you. And he's saying, I need you to understand the importance of being ready. First of all, if you're not saved, you're not ready to die. You're not ready. So let's get ready. Watch this now. So, so when you're absent from the body, you're going to be present with the Lord. Just die to yourself today. Just die to yourself today and God will take care of the rest. Let's pray this prayer of salvation together. And if you do this out of a sincere heart, friend, why am I not calling it the sinner's prayer? Because the, the Bible is clear in John 9, 31 that God don't hear sinners. But the salvation prayer is a transitional prayer. It moves me. It takes me to a place of readiness. It moves me from where I am to the place God wants me to be. And let's pray the prayer together. Here, here's how it is. Father God in heaven, I surrender my life to you today. I ask you to forgive me of my sins and I repent of my sins. I receive and accept your son, Jesus Christ, as my personal Lord and Savior to reign and to rule over my life from this day forward. Father God in heaven, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will teach me how to obey your commandments and walk in your statue. Well, first of all, Lord, if you will fill me with your Holy Spirit that now lives on the inside of me, teach me how to walk in your statues and how to obey your commandments. Yes, Father. And with your help, Father, with your help, I promise I you, Lord. to follow you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So 7 Corinthians 5, 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, now all things become new. Amen. Things have begun anew for you today your walk with the Lord Jesus Christ, that's something new to you. And so here's what we need to do. We're going to ask you to do this. Let somebody know. I think today is the 29th. 30. 30. Today is the 30th. Yeah. Thank y'all. Today is the 30th of May 2021. Yeah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it for you. Let somebody know that on this day, 30th of May 2021, you gave your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Savior. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you to the church that he wants you to serve and worship him. Then get baptized. That's how we share the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We want to send you some ministry to help you on your walk. I promise you it'll help you. Give us a little information. Promise not to bother you. We just needed to send this information to you so that you can start your journey on a good note. We want to do that for you. If you have any questions or comments, need prayer for anything, Leave us some information and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. May God bless you. May God keep you. We're celebrating for you and with you today. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you so very, very much for the decision that's been made today yes, Lord. that has really changed their life today. And though they may not know this right now, see it right now, but that one decision that was just made has changed their entire life. And so now they're on their way to readiness now. They're in position to receive now. And so, Father, we're grateful, so, so very grateful for you waiting on them, for you being patient, just like you was with us and many others. You waited patiently for us. And so we thank you for that. Thank you so very much for that. So we pray for each and every one of those who've made the decision, and even for those who haven't, God, that you will continue to be merciful toward them and give them a little bit more time. Yes, 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 give yes, them a little bit more time, Father. I pray that they'll make a decision though before they take the last breath in this in that body. Yes, Lord. We thank you so very much for your patience, thank for you, you being for patient patience. and being long-suffering, Father, with us. Thank you so very, very much for that. Then, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you will help them now. Lead and guide them like you do. Reveal yourself to them like you did for us. Reveal yourself to them. Let them know that you are real and that you are leading and governing their life now. Take them to the places they need to be and around the people.
that they need to be. Some, some of them are going to think that, well, life didn't change. I've lost all my friends. But God, you're going to add some friends to them, some real friends to their life. You're going to add some people to that. You're going to introduce them to their real families. You're going to put them in places to see things and do things that without you they never could have done. Now, the purpose and the plan that you have for them, according to Jeremiah 29, 11, can take place and come forth in their life. Thank you so very, very much, Father, for that. We give you glory and we give you praise. Take care of the most urgent need in the life of those who are viewing the, uh, the service today. And I thank you, Father, that their time spent with us today surely will not be in vain. They will receive and see fruit from their time spent with us and with you today. Thank you again for insight and for revelation. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So, our dear friends, we thank you again for being a part of our worship service today. We hope you can join us Wednesday night for our pastoral the Bible study. We look forward to spending time with you. Know that we love you. We're praying for you now. Bye-bye.